It's once again my privilege to speak to you today and just to share with you what I believe God uh, has laid upon my heart. And uh, thank you, this is for me um, to be able to deal with what I have to say. I just felt the Lord speak to me two days ago, two or three days ago, concerning the church, or concerning His church. And uh, as I was fellowshipping, I just felt He said to me, Lee, my church will always advance in times of difficulty. And um, I just sensed how he spoke to me and said, no matter the troubles, the difficulty, the persecution, my church will advance. And he reminded me of the words that he spoke to Peter um, in Matthew 16, verse 18. In the Bible, you can read it where he, where he speaks to Peter and he says, Peter, listen, Peter, uh, upon this rock, I will build my church. And he makes this declaration, this prophecy, and he says, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. He makes a profound statement. He makes a profound directional, he speaks a profound directional word concerning his church, he believe, his believers, his followers. And he says, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And if you study biblical history, uh, two beautiful examples of this is just taking consideration um, in the same moment in time, that the, that the apostles and the disciples and the believers at that time, that they lose Jesus to the crucifixion. They lose him a second time to the ascension uh, after 40 days. And they find themselves in a predicament, in difficulty. I believe they were very distressed because they had an idea and a picture that Jesus would be the king who would save them then and now. That wasn't the plan of God. He had an eternal plan with Jesus and so did the word of God. And they, are, they find themselves in distressed circumstances. But what happens is the church of God is born out of that difficulty, out of that feeling lost, not knowing what's going on, not knowing when Jesus is going to return and believing what they feel in their hearts needs to happen. Something beautiful happens to the church. The church is born. And if you go a little bit further in time, not long after that, you, you find it where in the same moment in time where the church of God are persecuted, actually the Bible says they were ravaged by Saul, uh, who we today know is Paul the Apostle, and they are ravaged by him. He's murdering people left, right and center. And um, while he's on this process of murdering, he's on this mission, the Lord comes in and he turns the circumstances around in this time of difficulty concerning the church of God. And the Bible says, if you study um, Acts 8 and Acts 9, it says, and the church actually begins to be built up. And once again, out of great distress, out of great persecution, out of great moments of not knowing what's going on, running for their lives, Lord comes and the church of God advances. Why? Because a word has been spoken and the word is this, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. When they were lost, feeling lost because Jesus was crucified, he left them again with promises, but he left uh, through the ascension. What happened? Why was the church born? Because Jesus said, my church will advance. My church will exist. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. When Saul from uh, Tarsus were persecuting them, why did the church again advance and be built up? Because Jesus spoke a word. He said to Peter, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And take courage. Take heart tonight. If you are part of the church of God, if you are a building stone, a living stone built into the living um, abode or dwelling place of the Lord God Most High. You must know one thing. You are part of a body and you are part of something which God birthed out of difficulty and something that He's building up through difficulty because that's just in the DNA of the church. She will advance. She will continue to be built up. She will continue to expand as the kingdom of God expands. And just take this in consideration. While all this was going on, what is actually phenomenal, and we need to learn from this, is while they were being persecuted, while there was difficulty, while um, they felt they were in distress, they lost Jesus. What's interesting is 
They continued to gather. They continued to lead one another. Peter stood up in the midst of the 120 and he spoke a word of leadership. They continued to pray together, to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God, to deliver people from evil, to heal the sick, to testify, to bring clarity to concerning certain truths in the word of God. If you just read Acts 1, Acts 2, Acts 8, Acts 9, you'll see all these acts took place in the times of difficulty while the church were advancing. And they continued um, to keep on baptizing people who were born again. Now this is the church who Jesus Christ said, I will build her and the gates of hell shall not prevail. And that word stands today as well. I just want to say to you, I really believe that Father and Jesus, our Savior and King, uh, He wants us to know that He's building His church. And in these times of difficulty, when some people condemn the church or believe the church is going to fall apart or whatever they believe, I believe what Jesus said. Jesus said, I'm building my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. And consider biblical history. The church always advanced and the church were always built up. And the church were even born in a time of great, great unknown difficulties and distress. May the Lord bless and may the Lord keep you. I really believe the Lord is speaking to his remnant and he's speaking to his church. I want to be part of that church. I want to be part of that remnant. I don't want to miss this time of advancement. And it never looks the way and seems the way that we have anticipated. Always know this. We can never, ever figure out the ways of God. Let's humble ourselves. Let allow, let's allow him to be sovereign. Let's allow him to be the king of glory who rules in his kingdom, in, in the kingdom of heaven, and who now pours out his rule and reign into our hearts and expands his uh, church and his kingdom on planet earth as he wants it to be. God will build his church. Jesus will build his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. God bless you.